your run. Good. Good. I heard you roaming about last night. What were you up to? Oh, I couldn't sleep a wink. It's those pills that Roy put me on. Damn medicine makes my heart race. Look. Look. Handshakes are bad. I can't do a thing. I told you not to have coffee at supper. No wonder you couldn't sleep. It wasn't the coffee, it was these damn pills. What time does the visiting nurse come? I want my bath. Noon, I think. Noon? <laughs> well, she might as well not even bother to come if she's gonna come that late. She's an awful woman anyway. She smokes, she talks too much. Uh, why can't you sponge me off like you did Saturday? All right, but I wish you'd mentioned it last night. I wouldn't be in such a rush. Go into the bathroom, I'll get the stuff, turn the heater on, or you'll freeze. Of course I'll turn the heater on. I'm not a fool. Diana, how was your weekend? What weekend? I spent it down here. Is Martha in yet? No, but Gary Snyder's been looking for you. For me? Good morning. I hear you've been looking for me. Have a seat. How's the judge doing these days? Fine. Um, I've, I've got a deposition at 10. Could we make this brief? Sure, no problem. We've been asked to uh, represent an inmate at Calistoga Men's Prison. I've jotted down some of the pertinent details. What's the charge? Murder one. He killed a couple of other prisoners. His name is Sean Carpenter. I want you to take over for me. Gary, I, I can't. Um, you have no idea how far behind I am. Why can't you do this? because I have a case going into court at 10 o'clock this morning and I can't get another continuance. Look, please let me know when you've got your strategy figured out and uh, we'll have lunch, my treat. Hmm? Diana, thanks. Capital case. Well, good for you. There'll be quite a feather in your cap. Hardly. The guy's serving 15 years for six counts of armed robbery and grand theft auto. Now he's killed two other inmates. The guy's a loser. I'll never get anywhere with an attitude like that. When I was your age, I took every case that came along, and then some. I'll do what I can to help him. But everybody's been screaming prison violence anyway. So it isn't going to be easy. Nonsense. You're not aggressive enough. On a difficult case, you've got to work twice as hard. That's all it is. But 
none of this uh, coming home at 7 o'clock. I can't eat this. It's overcooked. I'm sorry. You want me to fix you something else? No. Hey, Sean, we missed you. 14, Gus. Good to see you, man. You know, things haven't been the same around here since they put you in isolation. One month in that place is enough! It's <laughs> bad news for my lawyer, LeBron. Oh, really? Yeah, he wants to quit my case and stick me with some chick. You know what that means, don't you? You're gonna fry. That is right. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. You're not gonna live long enough to make it to trial anyway. Thank you very much. Jackie Bill is never gonna let you off the hook. You killed his sugar daddy and now he's mad at you. Why have man is down in his cell right now making up a new blade just to stick you with it? You should have killed him when you had the chance. Yeah, well, one more minute and I would have. <laughs> you know what your problem is, man? You got no friends. Now you're in trouble, who's gonna help you? And hey, what about you? Hey, well, Sean, not, but I can't. I can't promise much. I had a female represent me once. And what happened? That's how I got here. <laughs> See, you're gonna be a lot of help. Have a seat, Mr. Carpenter. We've got a lot of ground to cover and not much time. As I understand it, you only saw Gary Snyder at the arraignment, so uh, we'll be starting at square one. This is how I want to proceed. Hey, my name is Sean Carpenter. Nobody told me your name. Sorry. Diana Rockland. Now, because of the exigency... First thing I'd like to say is, uh... I know how much trouble I'm in here. I know that my life is on the line, I know that. I don't know how good you are, but I'm really gonna need your help. So I'm gonna be real straight with you about who I am and what I've done. Well, I appreciate your honesty. <clears throat> Shall we begin? Yeah. Let's do that. <clears throat> Perhaps, uh, we should start with the incident in question. Can you tell me what precipitated the attack? Well, these three guys were trying to push some protection services on me that I didn't feel I needed, so I had to demonstrate to them how uh, unnecessary they were. You crushed a man's skull. Got the job done, didn't it? But it was self-defense. Look, I can take care of myself. 
How about you? I have to tell you, Mr. Carpenter, that if you end up on the witness stand, you'd better knock off that facetious manner of yours. A jury will not like it. I have a few more questions. The defendant seems to be of above average intelligence, is articulate, courteous, and attentive, and seems to have a ready grasp of the legal ramifications of the charges against him. You ever go to a sock hop in junior high? too cool to wear socks in junior high. Now, if you're asking if I went to dance, I did it. First one I ever went to, I got this girl a, uh, a wrist corsage, uh -huh. made a gardenia. I stitched the money from my grandma's purse. She beat the hell out of me for that one. <laughs> well, that is what my attorney smells like. Gardenia. Daddy, hold it. It's all right, Diane. I got him. Oh, how you doing? Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah. Hi. Diana, would you get the door, please? So I think I'm going to have Roy take a look at you, okay, while you're here? No, no, no. I'm fine. It's, uh, I don't need any doctoring. Thank you. Oh, how you been sleeping? Fine. No problem at all. Yeah. Daddy, you were up half the night again. Diane, he's a big boy. He doesn't need a babysitter. You don't have to get up with him in the middle look, of the let's night. Look, let's not pick a fight, okay? Why don't we just enjoy the afternoon like a... Like a real family, huh? Hey, 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 Judge Rockland, you are just in time. What can I get for you? I'll have my usual Manhattan. Thank you, Roy. Shouldn't you be careful about alcohol with the medication he's taking? Uh, you know, she's got a very good point there, Lionel. Uh, what do you say? Maybe you should have a soft drink instead, huh? Daddy, now they're both ganging up on you. Oh, hell. Roy is the doctor. I suppose I'll have to do what he said. Thank you. I can't believe you're still biting your nails. Well, thank you. How's everything going on at the new office, Roy? Great. I have doubled my practice. It's gorgeous, Daddy. Roy wanted to hire a decorator, and I had a fit. I mean, have you ever seen a doctor's office done with any style whatsoever? I said, nope, I'll do it myself. And she did a terrific job. The only problem now is she wants to tackle the house. I thought you just did the house. Well, that was two years ago. Honey, don't sit there. You're going to get cat hairs all over your pants. Anyway, if I can get it done by December, I can still sponsor the Junior League Christmas tea, which I've been dying to do. Well, where's Emily? Why don't you come in here and give her old granddaddy a kiss? She was being such a pill, I had Mrs. Bowles put her down early. Dinner is served. Oh, great. Daddy, we're having your favorite barbecued spare ribs, and I don't want a word out of either one of you, okay? He can have spicy foods once in a while, right? A bunch of us are headed over to Park Place. You want to join us? <sighs> I better not. I have some things to finish up, and then I've got to get home. God, you're such a workaholic. Why don't you take a break? Because I've got work to do. And at least here, I've got some peace and quiet. Yeah, I'd say. Well, it's your business. If you change your mind, you know where we are. Thanks. Maybe next time. Maybe. <sighs> Indigestion, right? I knew you shouldn't have watched TV so late. Why didn't you listen to me? Daddy, are you all right?
going to need a few character witnesses. Any suggestions? I read in the paper that Judge Rockland died. Is he related to you? My father. He was kind of old, wasn't he? He married late. At my father's funeral, the preacher read Tennyson. Sunset, an evening star, and one clear call for me. May there be no moaning at the bar when I put out to sea. Are you close to him? He was a difficult man. I used to resent him sometimes. I had no idea I, I would miss him so much. My old man was a drunk, and I still cried when he died. Maybe I didn't love him enough, you know? Maybe I should have said some things when I had the chance. What are you going to do? We should um, get back to work. I bet you've got something else on your mind. Doesn't it bother you? You've killed two men. Those men meant to kill me. I killed them first. You said before that I was being facetious. But I was telling you the truth. You let people push you around. You're never going to feel good about yourself. Time's up, Sean. Five more minutes. We're discussing an important legal point. Thank you. I bet I know why you were just smiling, too. I bet you were thinking, if I'm so smart, what am I doing here? I have to get back to the office. No, oh, don't go. Talk to me. Papa. What do you do with yourself? Jog in the mornings, go to work, and at night I I read or watch TV. You don't have a boyfriend. No. You're a very controlled person, aren't you? I suppose. Look at you. You're so <laughs> tense. Loosen up. Don't you ever get mad? Don't you ever blow up? Not very often. How often? Maybe twice a year. And what about when people get mad at you? I think... maybe we better keep this professional, don't you? You're a loner. Just like me. I bet you've never felt close to anybody in your whole life, have you? I'll, uh... <clears throat> I'll be back on... Thursday, if that's all right with you. Any time, babe. Any time. I saw Mr. Dixon today. Hap? Hap? You're on a first name basis with Daddy's attorney. How cozy. Why did you need to see Hap? Oh, I don't know. I was just curious about the terms of Daddy's will. I mean, since Roy and I are doing everything else, I, I thought I'd inquire about probate. I said I'd do that. Honey, I'm not complaining. I mean, did I say anything? I want to do what we can. Imagine my surprise when I found out that Daddy left the house to you. We're equal beneficiaries, Elizabeth. I'm sure of that. I saw the will myself. Well, actually, no. There was something called a codicil. Apparently, Daddy felt that since he loaned us the money for Roy's office, <laughs> he 
You should have sole ownership of the house. Oh. Well, that's different. What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It just seems a little ridiculous for you to have this house when you're all by yourself. And the house is worth $150,000, and we only borrowed fifty. I'm assuming your loan was made into a bequest, though, so it's just as if he gave you the cash. All I'll end up with is upkeep and property taxes. You got the better deal. Roy wondered maybe if Daddy wasn't getting a little eccentric towards the end, you know, all that medication he was on and everything. He probably just wanted to make sure I'd have a roof over my head. I'm sure that's all it was. He probably had no idea there was such an inequity. But that's that, right? Oh, come on, don't be such a weary ward. I'll live. Were there threats to you at any time prior to the attack? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been threatened with rape, robbery, Extortion, death. And I can, I can deal with all that. You know what I have trouble with is that um, I haven't touched another human being with affection in nine years. What, what about your ex-wife? That's finished. And I like to keep it that way. How often are you going to be stopping by? It depends on how quickly we can proceed. I dreamed about you last night. I'm, I'm here as your attorney. That's all this is. Look at me. Just look at me. No, really, look at me. There's no point. Don't tell me what the point is. I'll tell you what the point is. The point is, is that if I weren't an inmate, you would look at me like a real man, like a real person. But I met you here, and there's no way we can change that. I understand all that, but I'm right, aren't I? You would look at me differently, wouldn't you? Right. Yes. I suppose. Let me tell you something. I'm a lot more than what you see in this room. And so are you. Question? Sure. Anytime. What would you do if you found yourself attracted to some guy who's inappropriate? Oh, there's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> like who? Um. Well. Um, a client. Oh, I guess that would qualify. Of course, we're speaking hypothetically. Absolutely. How attracted? Don't know yet. Well, why don't you just take my advice and forget it? What if I can't? As far as I know, it's not unethical. But it's not very smart. Why do we always have to do what's smart? Because we don't want to deal with the consequences when we do things that are dumb. <clears throat> you were born in, in Louisville, right? Uh, what was your father's occupation? Did you ever grow sweet peas? No. Why? Well, the plants, they put out tendrils, very delicate little coils that wrap themselves around the fence for support. 
And that's what you've been doing to me. Your mouth says one thing, but the rest of you says something else. You got tendrils out to me. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have come. Why don't you say yes to life? And reach out and take what you want. Attorney's here with some papers you gotta sign. Today. It was you. All the time. Sending out tendrils to me. Diana, hi. We were just on our way back from dinner and we thought we'd stop by. Oh, great, great. Do you want anything? Sure, but only if you have something decent to drink. Hey, the place looks pretty good. Oh, boy, don't be silly. Mother did this years ago. She had no taste of poor lamb. She was oh. hopeless. We just had the most fantastic dinner at this new Continental restaurant. Oh. Yeah, it was great. And Elizabeth thought that we should celebrate because our membership has just been accepted <laughs> at the Country Club. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I should hope so. The initiation fee is $25,000. Do you believe it? Our account nearly had a fit. Listen, honey. 
Elizabeth was telling me about your conversation. And uh, I'll tell you what occurred to me. Excuse me. What conversation? About the house. About Daddy leaving everything to you. And anyway, it seems to me that the point now is to see if we can make things a little more equitable. So, what would you think about our paying you, say, I don't know, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars? Okay, that would be half the money that your dad loaned us in exchange for a half interest in the house. And that way we could, uh, you know, help take some of the burden of this place off your, off your hands. I don't consider it a burden. <laughs> you don't? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I misunderstood. I, I thought that you felt that Elizabeth had gotten the better deal somehow. No. Not a bit. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, we felt that you would probably like to have a little nest egg, and you could, uh, you could fix this place up, you could, uh, travel. <laughs> what the hell? You could play the stock market if you like. The point is, I'm going to turn you down. Well, look, you don't have to make a decision right this minute. I mean, talk to your attorney first. I'm an attorney. No, she, Elizabeth, please. She means an accountant, sorry. I'm really not interested. Well, could we at least discuss it? No. Well, you know, we had, we had sort of hoped that you would, uh, that you'd meet us halfway on this. I mean, you know, your sister's always done everything for you, and we had kind of hoped that you would see fit to reciprocate. Roy, I wish I could help you, but Daddy's will seems perfectly clear to me. I've had the guys at work review it, and they feel the same. Did you want anything else? No, no, no. I guess not. Look, I, I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't we talk about this on Sunday? I'm tied up on Sunday. Thanks, though. Uh, just, just... Pull the door shut when you leave it. It locks automatically. When you say everybody knew they were out to kill Sean Carpenter, what does that mean? Were there threats? Was there an altercation of some kind prior to the assault? Um, okay, it went like this. Jackie Bales and this dude, Click, and uh, Curtis Pullmutter had a racket. Everybody on C Block paid him five bucks a week for protection. Did you? <laughs> Hell yeah, I paid. Sean paid too, until he got fed up. And that's when they said they'd kill him? They stated that specifically in your presence? Right. Good. That helps. So, <laughs> you're going to get him off? I'm certainly going to try. Yeah, well, I hope so. He's a, he's a good dude, and you're good for him, so that makes you okay in my book. You understand where I'm coming from? <clears throat> this is really very good. I think a plea of self-defense is shaping up nicely. Well done. Thanks. Cellmate's gonna help. What about Carpenter? Can you put him on the stand? He's articulate. He'll do just fine. Diana. He's gonna be convicted. You know that. Gary, I really think we've got a shot at this. Voluntary manslaughter at the most. Look. Do your best. I just want you to see the lay of the land here. The DA wants this guy's head. He's out for blood. Why? There's a big election coming up. He wants to make sure he looks good. Oh, great. Now we have to play local politics? Whose court? Kennewick's. Oh, come on. They're stacking the deck. Who was that? Don't worry about him. I paid him off. We can have all the privacy we want. Let's make love again. This is crazy. Come over to the door with me. Why? 
You know why. Defense, huh? I mean, even if I get acquitted, I gotta spend another six years up here with Jackie Bales and his boys looking for a way to stick me. Well, did you find out who's sitting on the bench when my case comes up? I'm not sure yet. You got something up your sleeve, huh? You just kiss this face goodbye.
beans this morning. We'll be using the jury room. It's rock land. We're not supposed to let the prisoner out of our sight. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Let him come in with us. If you want to talk privately, they can stand at the other end of the room. You looking for boogeymen? I could use those facilities if you don't mind. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Come on. I'll keep you company. I need some help. Turn around. Oh. No, no, no. Put him up, buddy. They've been real decent to me, Rick. And I'm not gonna hurt you if you if you do just what I say. This won't keep them out, but it'll slow them down. The deputy checks this room, he makes it a point, so they'll find out pretty quickly. find those guards about half an hour probably but even then they won't have any idea what car we're in well then let's uh head over to kentucky and we'll hop on over to missouri put a couple of states between us and them what do you say do you know somebody in missouri no not a soul how about yourself all right let's do that then we'll zigzag a course all the way out west I don't know how you got the gun. You have to ask Mel. On a registration check on Diana Rockland through DMV. But on an APB, indicate approach with cautions. Uh, could be a hostage. Uh, sir? Uh, I don't think so. I forgot what it was like to be out on the road. You don't know how good this feels. That's a roadblock. 
I knew we'd never get away with this. Come on, we're gonna have to run it. Let's go. Come on, run it! No, just stay calm. May I see your license and the registration, please? Turn your lights on for us and then hit your brakes. Can you step down, please? Tail light is out. We'll have to have that replaced. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll take care of that. Have a nice day. You, you too. too. I thought we were almost done for back there. We gotta turn this can around. They got a line on us now. <laughs> no, they don't. Look at this. Who was Elizabeth Nellis? <laughs> my sister. The van's in her name, too. I got that the same day. I told them my purse was stolen and I needed a duplicate. You don't miss a trick, do you? I've always been competent. I was just never free. And now I am. I did that for you? Yeah. You did. Hey, we're crossing into Missouri. I'm starving. Let's get something to eat. We better talk about money, don't you think? Well, I got 150 bucks at one of the Hope you got some. I pulled three grand out of a savings account. I had to pay 2400 for this. Honey, you got robbed. What are you guys supposed to do? Answer ads in the paper? Shoot, I had four days to set this deal up. I wasn't criticizing. I should hope not. Anyway, got about 600 left. We need credit cards. <laughs> Leave a trail of paper across three states? No. None in our names. I know this guy who wholesales those things. Where is he? Texas. Little town. Size of a french fry. Come on. Let's hit the road. Four hours ourselves, what's transpired. And it's our belief that Diana Rothman uh, um, has somehow been coerced and uh, manipulated into this situation. Uh, and naturally, our, our concern is, is for her safety, and we can only repeat that we stand behind her 100%. Uh, 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 no, no, uh, Dr. Nelson, has there been any contact at all since her disappearance? Uh, no, no, there, there has not. In fact, we're hoping that she can find some way to get in touch with us. Uh, Dr. Nelson, hey, wait a minute. Has, she, has she given you any indication that she might be romantically involved with John Carpenter? Absolutely not. Do you have any idea? We're, we're convinced that she's being held hostage, and uh, we can only... Hope that and pray that she'll be returned to us unharmed. Thank no, you. No, 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 Dr. Nelson, just one more. Please. You know the highwaymen? What a great poem. Mm. Yet if they press me sharply and harry me through the day, look for me by moonlight. Watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. Who may that poem dies for? Him? You have any regrets? Ask me in a year. You don't even know me. 
Why would you throw all that away? <sighs> My life was safe. That's all it was. When I ran into you, I realized I was suffocating. So that's what I gave up. Being numb. A doormat. It's gonna cost you. Not in any coin I care about. Country Club. Seems they made a little error in their membership quota. Wait a minute. How? I, I don't understand. I do. It is Diana. Her pictures are splashed all over the newspapers. Everywhere I go, it is all I hear. Okay, okay. All right. Look, uh, at, this will all get straightened out. I mean, we can't even be sure that this has got anything to do with it. Well, I hope you're right, because I am not going to be penalized on her account. How'd you ever get a boyfriend in high school with a hairdo like this? I didn't have a boyfriend in high school. I was a mess. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I always thought I looked good in a mustache. What do you think? I love it. Who's in charge of naming towns? Booger, Missouri. <laughs> I'd like to live in a place like that. Oh, come on. Slap out Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm not lying. There it is, right there. There should be a sign for Highway 55 cut south somewhere along here. The Oklahoma papers don't have anything. Guess we're not very important out here. Maybe we should dig in somewhere. And do what? Work. The money won't last forever. What are you going to do, set up a law practice? <laughs> I can do other things. Yeah, well, I can't. I never worked a day in my life. I don't even have a social security number. You're kidding. I spent most of my life in prison. When was I supposed to work? Suppose they tracked down my driver's license and the registration on this thing. I put out an APB and the first cop who spots us reels us in. Boy, we sure could use some fake IDs. Hey, here it is. Authorities in Columbus, Ohio, are pursuing leads in the disappearance of attorney Diana Rockland, 28, believed to have assisted in the mid-morning escape of accused killer Sean Carpenter, 32, whose trial was scheduled to begin at Franklin County Courthouse on Monday. The pair were reportedly sighted early Wednesday in northwestern Missouri, where an intensive manhunt is currently underway. I wonder who tipped him off. We've got a hole up somewhere. Buffy's an old college roommate. Maybe she can put us up for a couple of days. One minute. Remember, Max, don't tell him where you're calling from. Hello, Buffy? <laughs> this is Diana Rockland. Diana? Yeah, how are you? Where are you calling from? Are you in Tulsa? No, uh, not anywhere close. We're, uh, I... Yeah, I just thought I'd get in touch. 
The police called me two days ago from Columbus. It's in all the papers there. Police? I, I think they've contacted Karen, too. We're, we're supposed to call a, a Detective Sturgis if we hear from you. Otherwise, we could be charged as accessories after the fact. No deal? She's heard from the cops. What are they doing? Getting in touch with everyone I ever knew? That's what happens. Your life's not your own anymore. I tried to tell you that before. Well, why would they assume I'd get in touch with her? I haven't talked to her for years. Well, they know you gotta go somewhere, baby. Okay, let me try. I know somebody. Wait, here. There it is. <laughs> the Paducah Hilton. I can't believe we're back in Texas. What better place? They already looked for us down here. Besides, my old pal Yancey's got good connections. I don't like it. You got any better ideas? On death row in Calistoga. Did you hear about that? Mm, he's one of me old boys. <laughs> I'm surprised they ain't killed him years ago. Why, you hungry? Cherry, go fix our gift. No, 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 no. Don't make a big fuss for us. We already ate. I'll tell you what, I'll have a beer. Do you want something, baby? We got beer. We got wine. We even got seven and seven if you're snooty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have wine. Where's your manners? I want some too. I got this on special. I hope you like it. Oh, the, uh, that's fine. Yeah. I know they're not your kind of people, but they are good folk. And we sure are going to need their help. Just so we don't stay long. We're safe here. Yancey's gonna get us driver's licenses and a social security card. Why was he sent to Chillicothe? Oh, some bank job he pulled off in Toledo. No big deal. <laughs> Listen to me. Jackson, I think the bus sound just like him, hey. I bet you don't want to make love in this whole thing, huh? That's right. Well, you snuggle up with me. I'm freezing to death. Well,
they off to? I sent them into town. I didn't want to have them two underfoot all day. You sleep all right? Fine. Want that coffee warmed up? I could set the pot right out here. got any kids? No. Never been married. Been trying to have a kid for six years now. I just know to help Yancey straighten out, you know. I get so depressed I could just bite through wood. What did the doctor say? Oh, just what they always say. They couldn't find anything wrong. For a while, I had all that infertility stuff done. And it didn't do any good. You ever have that done? Turn you off sex for life. Finally, I said, no, thanks. I'll just fake it out on my own. We didn't have no more money to put toward it anyway. Yancey says it don't matter to him. But I know it does. Well, I guess there's no point in me sitting here feeling sorry for myself. You know anywhere I can get my laundry done around here? Everything I have is filthy. That old machine of mine is broke. But maybe you could wash something out in the sink. Is that you in there? Oh! I can't get the soap out of my hair. I hate that feeling. Oh. Can you hand me a towel? It took you long enough. I went on a little tour of the town. All six blocks. Guess what? I give up. You know, like in those old Western movies, we got a price on our heads. I saw the notice in the post office. A thousand bucks. How long will it take him to get the IDs we need? A week. I don't think we should go into town anymore. doctor appointment. Get the keys to the van. They turned us in. What? checking it out. You got the papers on that? Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time unloading that van. I don't think so. <laughs> Honey, I'm not impressed. 
You and that young fella out there ain't nothing but small potatoes to me. How much for the van? Well, I can see you're not much of a judge of people either. I never said I wasn't going to help you. But you pull a stunt like that, and it makes me feel like that wasn't my idea. <laughs> Six hundred dollars. Well, I'm taking a very big risk. Why would you do something like that? Well, I did a little jail time myself once, and I didn't like it. I can appreciate the fact that you and your boyfriend out there want to spend a little time together, where you both wind up in the can. Well, you going to take six hundred dollars or what? I paid twenty-four hundred for that van two weeks ago. Yeah, well, hot cars depreciate faster than most. It's not hot. But you are. What do you say? We got a deal? flooded the car dealers with flyers, figuring we had to buy a car at some point. You don't see our faces plastered anywhere else, do you? What the hell am I still wearing this thing for? What if some Yahoo picks us up on his way from Columbus, Ohio? You want to hole up someplace? Is that it? I just want us off the road. What about what I want? We don't put you in charge, anyway. Well, you do it, then. I don't care. What's the matter with you? I just don't want to be stuck in some crummy town, that's all. All right! I don't want to argue. Let's just get on with it. We can't afford this. Want to bet? I mean, I bet the bill comes in, I'll trace us. That'll take 30 days. In the meantime, I'm sick of living like bums. Hi. We'd like a room. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no. We just flew in from Houston on the spur of the moment. Huh. Well, welcome to Reno. I don't know if we can be of any help, though. We've got a big sales convention booked in. I'm afraid all we've got left is a penthouse suite for $500. Perfect. Living like this, day in and day out. Mm. You got news for you. I did. Or at least I used to. Well, what are we going to do when the 30 days is up? Who knows? I sure wish I met you when I was younger. Maybe I would have turned out okay. There's nothing wrong with you. I mean, killing people. It doesn't make me a very nice guy, stealing things. And what's wrong with me is that nothing ever works out right. <laughs> you, you're different. You always seem to end up on your feet. <laughs> what's going to happen to you if we get caught? Would you quit that? We won't get caught unless we screw up. Well, you won't, but I will. Is that what you want? I don't know what I want. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Mm. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. I 
guess what I want is to be somebody else. You know, a, a regular person. Go off someplace and find myself a job. Doing what? I don't know. I wouldn't mind learning a trade. Drive an ambulance, maybe. <laughs> you know, a rescue squad, one of them. The paramedic? Yeah. save yourself in this world, and I am not very good at doing that. You could learn. It's no big deal. Do you still love me? Mm. No. Management. My credit card's been declined. They want us to come down to the office. Why don't we take a walk down this way? Uh, just a minute, please. I think it's time to take those out. Have a seat. You gotta have nerves made out of rock. I mean, this doesn't even bother you, does it? Running and hiding and living on the edge all the time. I, I think I'm getting an ulcer. My stomach hurts half the time. We can settle here and rest. Get some money. Don't go to work. They're going to trace you through your social security number. No way. I'll make one up. You ought to do that, too. They won't check. Well, what about a job history? I don't even know how to fill out a job application. Uh, quit worrying. I'll fill it out. I can't tell a pack of lies and pull it off. My grandmother, when I was a kid, she beat all the lies out of me. I'm no good at lying. I hate lies. I hate my grandmother. <laughs> I do, I hate her. I can't go to work. I wouldn't know how to act. Sean. 
You have to help. I can't do this all by myself. you come home for lunch? I quit. Jobs like being on a Georgia road gang. Besides, those guys were ignorant. You couldn't have a decent conversation with one of them. Did you at least pick up your pay? What pay? I was working for two bucks an hour. We need the money. You shut up about money. Is that all you ever talk about is money? What about me? The world doesn't revolve around you, Sean. Say the wheel. I don't want to hear about that now. from these boys so you won't set him off. Darling, you ain't even having any fun. I don't work for fun. I need the paycheck. I wouldn't let him mess that up if I was you. So what was Lathrop getting on your case about? He worries about you watching me work. He says it inhibits me. I said that to you. Words to that effect. Oh, I hope it doesn't expect me to watch you work in a dive like that without some kind of protection. Just sitting here. Sure, I get bored. So why don't you do something else? Well, what you have in mind? Read. Watch TV. <laughs> when was the last time you watched TV? Brain death. Instant brain death. Read a book then. Why don't you just come out with it instead of pussyfooting around? He said he'd fire me if you kept coming in. And you stood there and you took that crap from him? Sean, what was I going to do? I need that job. No, no, no. You don't need that job. You want that job or you like that job, but you don't need that job. That damn job doesn't pay enough money to fool around in the first place. And what are you going to do for money if I don't work? You want money? I'll get you money. I'll get that pistol out of your purse and I'll get you all the money you need. Oh, great. What are we going to do, make a career out of bumping off gas stations? I just can't sit in this room night after night. If that's all it's going to be, I might as well be back in prison. What do you think? I broke you out so we could hold up liquor stores? Forget it. We're coming to the end of the line of this deal anyway, baby. No. We're not. Let me tell you how these things go down, okay? One day we're driving along, and some hotshot highway patrolman pulls us over. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna pull out a 12 gauge, and he's gonna blow a big hole in my chest. You wanna be around to see that? All you have to do is stay out of my way. 
I can support us. I can do that. We can be together as long as we want. Nothing like you was ever going to happen again to me. But why don't we just quit while we're ahead? I know one thing, and it may be the only thing I know, but I know it by heart, and that is that the name of the game is surviving. So don't risk my life for something that you want for you. I'll bet you've done this all your life, haven't you? Something good comes along and you systematically mess it up. You can't stand it, can you? You can't tolerate happiness. Well, I can. Talk about life. I laid my life on the line for you. And I'm not about to give it all up. We've been worried sick about you. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Listen, Elizabeth, can you wire us some money? Just a couple hundred dollars. I'll pay you back. Look, I don't understand. Where are you? Where are you calling from? Do you realize what you have put us through? Look, we're, uh, we're broke, and, uh, it's going to take us a while to get set up somewhere else. I see. I, I know it doesn't make any sense. And it's, uh, it's too complicated to explain. I, I need some help, Elizabeth. Uh, I, d I don't know where else to turn. Elizabeth, are you going to help me or not? Okay, where do you want the money sent? We're in Nevada. Carlos Motel, Highway 59, Elko.
Did you sleep well? Great. Your hands are cold. Where did you go? Just out. I wanted something to drink. You look so pretty with your cheeks all rosy. Oh, I'm a mess. Don't look at me. No, you're not. You look beautiful. dream that we went to Montana. Let's go to Butte. You'll love it there. What's the matter? We can't get to Montana from here, Sean. I wish we could. We just can't. So we go someplace else? You don't have any regrets, do you, about all this? <coughs> no. Are you kidding? You're the best thing that ever happened to me, baby. I wish this could go on forever. Yeah. Me too. I love you. Just give it to me.